Il y a 52 heures, les participants faisaient leur premier lancer. Et maintenant, il ne reste que 6 heures avant que nous puissions désigner le vainqueur de Fly VS Jerk. Jesus Christ. Net, net, net I don't have a net Jesus L'équipe Catchoussière avait commencé très fort avec un brochet d'environ 10 kg dès le premier jour. Yeah, but that means our fish doesn't count. Un brochet qui sera malheureusement annulé car pris en dehors des horaires de la compétition. Truman et Pierre ont quand même réussi à marquer un point, car leur deuxième plus gros brochet, d'un poids de 6 kg, a suffi pour remporter le point du Big Fish ce jour-là. À la fin du premier jour, nous avons vu Bjorn et Jacob en tête avec deux points, après avoir attrapé 21 poissons et totalisé 461 cm avec leur top 5. Après le premier jour, il était temps pour la pêche au lac et trois brochets de plus de 10 kg ont eu la chance de poser devant les caméras. Mais c'est finalement l'équipe Neistroft qui a gagné lorsque la balance est arrêtée à 10,5 kg pour Daniel Weyers. Le point du top 5 est également allé au néerlandais, mais le point du nombre est allé à l'équipe Giga Dotnu, dès maintenant en tête, avec un total de 3 points. Maintenant nous sommes au milieu du dernier jour, et bientôt nous aurons la réponse à la question que tout le monde se pose. L'équipe Giga Dotnu qui mène depuis le premier jour, maintiendra-t-elle son avance jusqu'à la fin ou bien les autres équipes interviendront-elles avant la fin de Fly vs Jerk. Fly vs Shark 15 is brought to you by Leech Polarized Sunglasses for Fishing Watski, your online store for boating equipment in the Nordics Golden Catch, fishing essentials for every angler JR Logistic, staffing and recruiting of warehouse workers and truck drivers since 2003 Uh, after this cast, we'll be switching lakes and switching guppy, apparently. Yeah. Damn it. We're going to switch in lakes. We are going to lose precious fishing time, but I think it's going to be worth it. We are really pumped. We had an exciting ending at the last episode bite is now on fire we hope we really really want to do the next cast and we really hope to fill up the paper get for minimum yeah. four more big fish and of course the really really big old lady right yeah nothing more to say <laughs> perfect let's go oh there's a one again bam oh, just a small one crazy <laughs> crazy the color seems to pick It was really crazy, the fly was just hovering in the water. Yeah, I think that's the fly of the day. Just a small one, but nice take right in front of the boat. Perfect. Les choses ont vraiment changé pour l'équipe Hardy Grays après un départ lent dans la compétition. En ce moment, ils détiennent le point du Big Fish, un point que plusieurs équipes cherchent à obtenir. L'une d'entre elles est l'équipe Bullseye, qui le cherche depuis trois jours. Peut-être qu'ils pourront prouver que la troisième fois est la bonne. We are standing here on a big lake in the rain with our rain suits, armed with our rods and casting for big pikes. I'm really, 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 really pumped to catch a big one now because time is running out. So 
Keep your fingers crossed and watch us catch some big pikes. Fish! That's a good one. That's a good one. No, I'm good. No. Far away, but that's a good one. Anko, Anko. Come in. Yes, we're getting there slowly, but steady. They are so powerful. Uh, we're fishing here over seven meters depth. I cast it as far as possible in the direction we're drifting. After that, I let the lure sink down to the bottom. Usually you say, okay, the pikes come up if they're hungry, but they're not really in the mood. They're just like, okay, if the bait is close enough to me and I have some time to follow, I might maybe take it. So, therefore, I just let the lure sink very deep and then retrieve it really slow. Here is the fish. Already a little bit bigger than the last one. So let's measure this fish. Put it on zero and here. I would never imagine that that's a meter fish, Tim. Really? Yeah. 101? 7.25. With the net. So, so. We will, and now we have to deduct the net, the weight of the net. 0 0.54. It's a... Uh, what was it? I forgot already. 6.71 <laughs> kilos. It's a really nice pike, but we are looking for the double the weight today. See you next time, my friend. Those fat old ladies, we love them. Il n'a pas fallu longtemps avant que le point du Big Fish trouve un autre bateau. Le nouveau poids à battre est donc de 6,7 kg et avec un premier brochet d'un mètre aujourd'hui. L'équipe Bullseye pourrait devenir une menace également pour le point du top 5. Hello everyone, <laughs> team relax. Andy is ready, ready and fired up to start the second half of our day. Andy, how have we done today so far? 30. 13 fish. We set a goal of 30. We upped it to 40 because we had a great morning. We're going back to work and we're gonna try to catch maybe a little bit over 40 pike and one big mama. Yeah. And Andy, what are we doing now? Let's go fishing this fine Let's get back to work. Thank you, everyone. We got to go to work. You sit down, relax, and enjoy, and watch the show. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. Avec leurs 13 brochets, Danny et Andy détiennent actuellement le point du nombre. Mais l'équipe Neistroft est tout près derrière eux. Hier, ils étaient prêts de remporter les 3 points. Et les chances que cela se reproduise aujourd'hui sont loin d'être impossibles. So the last two days almost, last one and a half day we spent on the shallow areas, cruising around the weeds and we're using spinner baits, all sorts of baits that don't catch too many weeds and obviously we're gonna change baits a lot. Now that it's rainy, you can see, yeah, well the water's coming off there. These are completely dry, which is nice and that's what you want because otherwise in two or three weeks they'll be rusted out, you're gonna have to buy new baits and it sucks. So, yeah, basically anything weedless, spinner baits, cheddar baits, and it just fits perfectly into this bundle box. Yeah, yeah. I think it's big. You think so? Yeah. I, I saw a think huge so. splash, or a huge one tried to eat a small one. I'm not sure. <sighs> Take care of the front over yeah? I don't, I don't think it's big. All right. It's not so big, no. Look much bigger, but it's still one for the measuring board. Oh. Uh, Want to net it or not? No. Did you touch it? Put it on the board anyway. It's uh, 70, uh, 77. Nice. It's a pike gun. Pike, pikey. And it's gone. Good job. <laughs> We've got the energy back, ready for the wonder. We hope you are too. Yeah. So 
enjoy, stay warm, enjoy the heating, a nice cold beer, and fingers crossed <laughs> for a wonder. <laughs> so we give our best and we don't give up. Uh, Keep on using, my friend. Uh, Get it on the way. Yeah! Oh, no, shit, there was no rock. What a nice day, actually. Fly vs. Jerk 15, episode 6. The final half of a day and the worst condition you ever can imagine. It's really good experience. <laughs> I would never go fishing in that kind of weather. <laughs> we cannot compete this cold weather anymore. It's super cold, so... We need some help. Yeah, we need some warm-up. What's on your mind? Can we go? I think they moved. Yeah, but they are here. Yeah, yeah, but not so many. You want to try that pond? Yeah, before the river. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh. That, that can be key. Okay, so the big guy said that we have to try another location where we actually never been. But uh, we have an idea that maybe Maybe we have an idea that maybe they move a little bit uh, closer to the where the river comes. So now we're gonna go and check how it's there. And also, you know, more narrow part. Maybe the wave will be less, and maybe maybe it will be warmer. I need a toilet, but I think I cannot do that because I am. Yeah, but pee in your pants. Toutes les équipes font face à leurs défis et pour l'équipe Fraps et Trix, le froid devient le défi majeur aujourd'hui. En Suède, il ne fait pas aussi froid, mais Truman et Pierre font face à un défi différent. Ils rencontrent des problèmes d'alimentation pour le treuillage. Truman et Pierre ont découvert que les poissons sont concentrés dans une petite zone aujourd'hui. Et les vents rendent difficile la pêche à la dérive, donc ils essayent de rétablir l'alimentation. We, we need to try anyway. We're gonna disconnect one of the batteries, so it's bad. And hopefully we have enough power on the second one. Now it's working. We have fixed it. Yeah, we uh, did some uh, macro here and uh, <laughs> we fixed it. For the moment anyway. So I have disconnect one, one battery. These two uh, batteries, 36 each, connected to each other, is custom electro. They are really powerful lithium. So it's not wrong with these two. It's the charger who is broken. Pierre, yes. you know when we were driving in the, in the bumps, boom, boom, boom. Uh, we drove on a really bumpy road yesterday. And uh, somehow, I think it broke there. Vicious luck. We need luck now. We need your support, guys. This is very, very important. So we just arrived at the new spot and another fishing boat just flew over our spot in maybe a third of casting distance. What an asshole. Sure he did it on purpose. This is the spot. Yeah, the conditions are not that good because the wind turns completely uh, the other direction and there's no more wind. So the bait fish are moving and the pikes too for pike fishing. Wind is much better. Ah, leader touch. I was just just saying to Sander, ah, we're in the middle of the plants. I think we have to find the edge of the plant bed. And then he caught this fish. Beautiful little one. That's what she said. It took us so long to go from 13 to 14. But hey, we are past the unlucky number. Now it's time to get a big one. What do you think, uh, Sander? I think it's time to get a giant one. Yeah. Just had followers this morning. Really big ones, he lost a nice one. He thinks it was a meter fish. 
and he saw two fish well over a meter. I think we're on the right area. Feels decent. Might need a net. Yeah? Yeah, we need a net. No, 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 no. Yes? It's not big. It's big enough, man. No, net it's it. small. Come here, pikey, pikey. Leader touch. Nice. Okay, it's big enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> 84. Oh, 84. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been, been the one. one. You have been the one. 15. <laughs> And my fingers are looking great. La feuille de pointage est remplie pour l'équipe Neistroft. Et maintenant, la poursuite de l'équipe Giga Dotnu peut vraiment commencer. Un brochet d'un mètre suffit pour dépasser l'équipe Giga Dotnu. Et l'après-midi vient à peine de commencer. Le poisson numéro 15 signifie également qu'ils ont dépassé l'équipe Relax. Donc le point du nombre est maintenant avec les Néerlandais. So the second part of our day has been kind of a struggle. Mother Nature hasn't been kind to us. Winds have picked up drastically. The fish have moved, the areas where we were fishing earlier and catching decent sized fish and lots of fish has kind of changed. So we're adjusting our, our tactics here a little bit. Um, our confidence isn't shot. I think we can still achieve it. Andy has a nose for these fish. He'll find them for us and he'll put us in the right spot. So I feel good about the rest of the day. It's just if mother nature can comply with us a little bit and let the winds die down a bit. Because I feel like I'm on a surfboard right now. But yeah, Andy, you feel confident we can make our fish total? Yes. Yeah. Maybe this moment, big fish. Wow, the up and down. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. And clicker, my friend. Then, uh, please, your mother. Oh, this mother. Yes. Okay. Let's go, big mama. This only small pike. No big mama. Then, uh, go home. Go home? Yes. No pike for you. How deep is the water? I, I don't want to walk in waist deep. If it's shallow, I'll go home. Why not? Even though it's a competition, it's very important to be upbeat and happy and have a good time on the boat with your partner. Even though it's bad days, good days, being out, out, being out on the water is the most important of all. I'd rather be here than sit in my office 20 hours a day. Hmm. I will not agree today. <laughs> you will not agree today, yeah? <laughs> Better warm day in office than today out fishing. <laughs> He's the one. No! <laughs> Crazy. Did I touch it? What a crazy fish. <laughs> yeah, he's not that big, unfortunately. But it's an upgrade, I think, to 81. Beautiful. Look at these colors. I think the fish here on this lake are one of the best looking pike in the world. Look at the fins, the markings. Insane. Imagine this fish 1 meter 20, eh? I know exactly what it looks like. <laughs> nice. Nice. Et clic comme ça. Une petite amélioration dans le top 5 de l'équipe Neistroft, réduisant l'écart de 4 cm avec le leader, l'équipe Gigardot Nu, qui a perdu pas mal de temps à cause du changement de lac. Fucking awesome! Woo! Now we're on the first fishing spot. Uh, the wind is uh, decent. Uh, it's not 
100% correct as it, I hoped it should be, but hey, you cannot get everything in life. Welcome to the show. You know who you should share? Yigar, of course. Let me we hear it. it! Come on! <laughs> we need all the support we can get. Let's go get some. We have uh, sacrificed an hour for a move from, uh, from the river that we have been fishing. We have been waiting for this, for the wind to, uh, to get the water going. We have good conditions, I would say. There is a sun, there is wind, the water is moving. So we made the move, we made the decision to, to take an hour and get to uh, a huge lake that contains really big fish. Those are what we are hunting right now. You know, the wind is really important in these clear water lakes because the pikes are, are uh, more active. Today is live day. I do like playing video games, but not when I'm fishing. We use it to find structures and we use it to find vegetation, but we know this lake, we have the outer chart, we don't need to use it at all. So we won't. We'll catch fish anyway. Old right? school. Old, well, old school and old school. <laughs> yeah, it is old school. There is outer chart and there is, yeah. I have a map. Okay. Come on. Now we start. Yeah, fish. Feels really small, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't care. It's a fish. Ah, it's really small. Ah. Okay. Will you take two costs? Yeah. White walker, maybe. Good job. Good job, man. There you have it, boys and girls. Looks awesome, and it does the trick. That, that was the second cast in the new lake. There we go. Nice little jack. I'll put her or him back. Click it, and off we go. That's how you get it started. Good job, Jacob. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't horrible. It's not what we came for, but... Uh, I'd rather catch small pike than no pike. I do agree. Il ne reste que 4 heures avant le climax palpitant de Flavesger 15. L'année dernière, le redoutable duo Alexander Lexen et Victor Soderberg de l'équipe Leach Gator ont remporté la victoire dans une finale haletante. Mais cette année, leur absence a laissé beaucoup de gens désireux de leur retour. C'est donc avec une grande excitation que nous annonçons le retour de l'équipe Gator pour la prochaine saison de Flyvest Jerk. Préparez-vous à les voir attraper de nouveau ces énormes brochets. Let's go We actually made a big move through the waves and wind uh, to the bigger part of the lake. And, uh, here is the warmest temperature now. If to compare two temperatures from Garmin and from Hammondbird, it's like around 4.5, uh, 4.7 degrees. Uh, like one degree warmer than uh, in that bay where we saw lots of big ones, but they do not react at all. And uh, actually here we caught a pike on the episode five, somewhere here. So uh, now we're gonna scout around and try to find pikes here because it's like the warmest water here if we can say so it's really hard for us now but we will fight till the end or we die in the boat are you pike are you big i think they're two together no uh, looks like something decent Anyway, you have to try it. Uh, here you are, you're going good, you're going good. Uh, more down, more down. Okay, start slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, boom! <laughs> Need a net? Yeah, but it's, it's a motor, it's a motor. It's engine, engine. It's going through the engine now. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's a good pike. Of course it's a pike. Come on, fuck. Somehow I bring it to the net. Look at that. It's crazy. 
<laughs> Finally! Actually, that's a fish for top five. Robert, yes. you're the master of casting. No. <laughs> hey, check the whole thing and in, also, inside. And also, this one was a bite. If we speak about the previous, this one, this was a poof. That means maybe they're biting now. I spot lock, we take the lure out. And that's tricky tail, inhaled totally. <laughs> Ups and downs. Ups and downs. Okay, let's measure. Okay, check, check, check the front. Yeah. Actually, it's over meter. It's, hey, hey, would it be one? Yeah, it's one. One oh one. Shall we wait it? I don't think so. I, I think we so. Should, we should, yeah? yeah. Okay. Zero. Five nine nine. Five ninety nine? Five ninety nine. Okay. Imagine if uh, we lose this pipe because of trolling motor. <laughs> anyway, let's continue, guys. We have some time and we need three more pikes. What we wished for wind and wind we got. This is totally unfishable. Uh, we need to do something. We have a huge drifting anchor. This is about 20 times bigger. Hope that they, this will hold the boat and we, so we will be able to fish. We will see. On my knees, begging the pike guards to give us a pike. Ah, they seem working, Jacob. I say we go away up north. So, camera guy, put that away, otherwise it's gonna be soaking wet. The wind is horrible. So we're going way up north, so against the wind, and the waves are going to be a little bit calmer up there. Then we will stay the rest of the day there. Jonas, did you try the smaller fly? So a really small fly? I can do this. Because I have also lots of follower, but maybe you should try this. So just a small fly. Yeah, that might be an option. Maybe um, the pike are reacting a little better on this because we got so many followers. Do a couple of casts with a small fly, maybe maybe uh, that might help or might work. So just just give it a try and do a couple of casts. Oh, there's one. Yes. Small one again. So that's number three, I guess. Nice one, but definitely not the size we want. See you soon. So you see this guy running up there? Toilet break. So right now it's just the camera guy and me in the boat. But no problem, we try to catch a fish. Maybe we catch the 124 now, and he can just see the pictures. <laughs> Team Kingfisher is just one person now. That doesn't matter at all. Let's keep going. So right now we're fishing in front of the cottages, which we also rent out. The convenient thing is here, it's a, like a lake system. And within two minutes, you're in the river, which we actually fished. And then there's like a huge uh, water system with, with lakes up there. Maybe we see us here during your next fishing trip. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Andy. Then, please. Slow and steady, Andy. Please, then. I got you faded, Andy. Don't worry. Good fish? No, small fish. Just... No, Andy. No, no, no. I miss him, Andy. No. <laughs> No good fish, this, but it's still fishing. Yeah, 60. <laughs> Everything small fish. Okay. Everything small. Everything. <laughs> Come on, mom. Please, you mommy. Then, uh, come on. Please, pike. Maybe big pike. Blue and silver. Yep, I'm changing, Andy. Hi. OK. 
Okay, okay. Okay, finally! God damn it! Thank you, Lord! See, Andy, you wanted it, I gave it to you, baby. I know it's not a big mama, but I'm hoping it's a nice size yeah, mama. 75, uh, the stock five fish. Just keep casting and cranking, casting and cranking. They'll finally come around. <sighs> Feels good. Maybe 75. Then uh, 78. 78 fish. No, seven. 77. Double sevens? Yes. You fish, Lene? No, no, no. You do all the hard work, Andy. Okay. Thank you for helping me out. Fish and then I appreciate it. Let and me just. No bigger. Nothing like teamwork. Number 18. Let's go. Then let's go. Andy, all I wanted to do was put a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> La bataille pour le point du nombre entre l'équipe Relax et l'équipe Neistroft continue. Un point crucial pour l'équipe néerlandaise et il semble que l'équipe Gigardot Nu, avec ses 7 prises, ne disputera pas ce point aujourd'hui. En ce moment, c'est tellement serré qu'un brochet de 7 kg est tout ce dont l'équipe Neistroft a besoin pour prendre la tête, en raison du point supplémentaire en cas d'égalité. We've been fishing a shallow area for hours and hours and hours and we wanted to give the deep water a try. We saw a lot of bait fish. We actually saw a friend of mine catch a really big pike there. Yeah, got it. Oh, miss it. Oh. He <laughs> stole oh. your trailer, didn't he? Oh. Yeah, fish. Fish? Yeah. This one feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not good at all. To open its mouth, leave it touch it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yep. It counts. Ice one. Number 20. Number 20. Woo! And it is gone. Team Neistroft's going strong. Look at this. Now it's 1-9, and now it's 2-0. <laughs> so we've been basically fishing the shallows all morning. We went to a deep area. We saw a lot of bait fish. We had a huge follower on the live scope, but he didn't take our lure. Now we're back on the shallows for the afternoon. So I still have hopes for a big one here. I mean, usually on this water, if you get 10, 15 fish, you at least have one giant. We are not lucky yet, but... I guess they'll be caught, yeah? Yeah, any fish we catch here can be a 116 or bigger. We have two hours left. We don't have an Amin Kota front motor and now the wind has dropped so much so we're gonna try to see if we can catch a fish on the Mega Live, Hummingbird Mega Live. That's reality, we, we're gonna see the fish live swimming and so on. We need to find the bait fish and uh, around that we, we uh, hopefully we can find, uh, find the pike. I'm gonna do like this and this. Now you can see all the bait fish there. The problem with that, without electric engine, engine is not easy. If you have the wind, the boat moves pretty fast. So you really have to have the boat in the right position and keep the boat steady to be able to cast and present the bait perfect over the fish or above the fish. It's pretty hard. Here you have. Yeah, but you need to turn the boat. No, no, the other way. Now stop. Problem with drift. It's really, it's impossible. It's just under the, under the bur. I know, there's another one there yeah, behind yeah, yeah, the bit. Yeah. yeah, but we, we can't like that. Take it easy. Now it's under. It's hopeless. Here. Yeah, you to see this one? Yeah, don't move. Now go back, yeah, on, there, don't move now. No, 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 I don't know. Yeah, yeah stay yeah. like this, stay like this. Go back. Turn left. Turn left, 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 left. She's coming, she's coming. Turn left. 
Yep, 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 take it. I have it. Fish on. Big one. No, but the uh, fish. It's not easy, huh? Eh? It's not easy. Oh. With no electric, you can't really stay on the fish. But we took it. We took we it. We took it. Ah. You saw the fish coming? Boop, 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 boop. Smack! Good job, huh? Eh? Good. Yeah, but it's good because this boat is so heavy. On the goopy. From the, our friend from Giga. <laughs> That's really nice color. Black pike color, really nice, I like this one. So I put really heavy lead because now we can't keep the boat straight, so I put 14 grams under. So it's not super nice to put that heavy lead on that bait, but it, it works anyway. And they really like, I really use the goopy a lot for the live since the last two years. And it's one of my, one of my favorite bait for, for this kind of uh, techniques. It's pretty good. Quite happy actually because we have nothing for so long and we just start to say, okay, we use the, the live now and uh, we just use it for like five minutes and uh, we get that one. It's not easy with, without electric to fish like that, but we're going to try. It works with this one, it can work for a bigger one, so we'll try. That's uh, 80 fish. That's 84. One, two, three, four, 84. Yeah, but I think with a little bit luck now, we can take four fish. Yeah, but that, that, we can take a big one. Do you have what it takes to participate in these formats? And do you want to participate in Sander Pro? Well, good news for you. You can qualify for Sander Pro on Sander Pro Open Qualification this September. Last year's qualification was won by Rhineland Bote, and this summer you can see how they all performed in the real YouTube show. Visit tournament.canalgratis.se for more information. We need to catch a pike now to get the energy up. Agreed, agreed, brother. It's one thing, you know, to not have a bite, but when you have the bites in the right places and we don't catch them, that's... It's so frustrating. Yeah. Feel like a pike. Which man. side? Uh, I don't know side. yet. I don't know yet. This side, I guess. Could you, could you turn the engine a little bit left? Okay. You know what? Screw it. It's here. It's here. Are you ready? Fucking God, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, finally. Oh. That was number one. That was number one. Two more. I'll tell you what. What I did right now was all the mistakes you can make. When the fish is getting closer to the boat, getting your partner to fuck up with the engine, and then when it's down, I had too much line out. So when I was lifting it, I couldn't lift it anymore. <laughs> so it was good nothing, man. We fought for this one for so long. Really don't know how big it is. It feels a bit heavy. I think we might want to weigh it, man. She's really fat, man. Really fat. Let's see how long she is. 100 and... Wait, you have it all, all the way up? Yeah. 105. Really? Yeah. Perfect, man. 105. Look at that. Look at that copy. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Look at that. This is heavier. This is an eight kilo fish. Then seven nine then. Then seven nine. Seven nine? Seven nine. Okay. 105, 7.9 kilos. Beauty. Such a beautiful fish. Okay, we're, we're gonna let her go and hopefully catch a couple more. L'équipe Giga Dotnu a connu un début difficile dans le nouveau lac avec des vents extrêmes et de hautes vagues. Mais leur stratégie porte ses fruits. 
Ils étendent leur top 5 à 450 cm et en plus de cela, ils prennent le point du plus gros poisson à l'équipe Bullseye. C'est un long one, mais skinny. Now we're on fire, that sucks. Perfect. Yeah, it's 75. Exactly. One more on the scoreboard, so we have two for the top five. Today it seems is our day. Yeah, let's put it back and maybe we will get the one big fish. So maybe we can fill up the board with the top five because the fish seems to be biting now, more and more. So yeah, we don't want to waste time, do some more cast and Try to catch a big one for you guys. So no big and next spike, next spike. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, okay. 20, 20 small pike. Please, your mother. 20. Okay, then. What the... I'm doctor. <laughs> I'm doctor. This rehabilitation. My lords. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next fish. <laughs> Let's go. Are you bike? Looks like that's a normal size bike, my friend. Let's try to put a lure and check if it's biting or not. You see it? You see the lure? Good. Bike, come on. Show, show who is the king here. Kill it. Kill it. It's coming. It's coming. Boom. It, without, without a strike. What? Without a strike. Come here, come here, Robert. Fuck. What? Come on, come on, it's big one. Come on. Yes! <laughs> That's a bonus without a strike. But I told you, boom! I saw it come. I, I did. I, there, there didn't was a strike. It just inhaled. It, it just a, suck and, it in. And again, throwing motor and lots of. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, in the evening. <laughs> okay, let's measure. Let's measure the fish. Oh, my, my hands, look how they are shaking. You the man. Okay, calm down, my friend. And guess what? Tricky tail. Did the trick. Did the trick. Cool. Okay, the measuring time, yeah? Oh, 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 oh. She's trying to break my hand. I, I, I put at the road. Ah, oh, check that one. Check that one. And there is some bigger mama. <laughs> Let's measure that one. Okay. You secure the nose? It's there. It's there? It's, it's, it hits 107. Fuck that. 107. From one side it's warm up, from the other side I, I, I really don't feel my fingers anymore. Okay, let's measure the fish. It's gonna be a little bit more heavier. Okay, now let me. We make zero. And the moment of truth. <sighs> 987. <sighs> So it's like eight, almost eight kg. Yeah. Accrochez-vous, 9.87 kg, moins le filet, cela équivaut à 7,92 kg. Les marches sont extrêmement faibles, mais cela signifie que l'équipe Frappes et Trix vole le point du plus gros poisson à l'équipe Gigard Dotnu. De plus, Anton et Roberts ont deux poissons à prouver pour un top 5 complet et avec une moyenne de 102 cm sur leurs trois poissons. Ils représentent une menace significative pour Björn et Jacob.
Le temps commence à manquer pour les équipes et les points sont en jeu. L'équipe Neistroft et l'équipe Rolax se sont battues toute la journée pour le point du nombre. Mais actuellement, l'équipe Neistroft est en tête avec 24 poissons. Cela signifie que Daniel et Sander sont toujours très proches de prendre la tête de la compétition. Et ce dont ils ont besoin, c'est soit de deux brochets de 2 mètres pour le point du top 5, soit un brochet plus lourd que 7,92 kg. See if we can get 30. We have, we have enough time. Yeah. If it keeps going like the past 20 minutes, we can end with 40. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. going well. It's going crazy now. <laughs> then, say my name, Andy. Then, say my name. Then, <laughs> that's my friend. <laughs> This day, my friend. <laughs> it's the witching hour where winners could become losers and losers could become winners. Anything can happen, as long as your lure is still in the water. We're very close to achieving our goal. At least we want to accomplish that today and leave this competition on a good note. So cast and crank until the last second. That's all we can do. But like always, hope for the best and expect the worst. We're now standing on top of the edge, casting with the wind in the deeper water and reeling in the lure along the edge from the deep part to the shallow part. Often this is what works best. I know many people love to fish the opposite way, especially for jigging, but uh, for steady retrieve, I prefer cast to the deep and reel up to the shallow. Oh fuck, noch a big one, big one. The pike took my lure just a bit, about one and one and a half meter below the surface. Tangle it up like this and that was it. But it was a really big fish. I saw it. I would estimate around oh, one ten. You got one too? Yeah. Tim just got a strike too. So I think we're in the fish now again and hope they are biting. So we just changed the spot. Did few casts and I think that was the third cast on this spot and I got this bite. So now Tim got a bite and next time we're going to hook this fish. Yeah, I'm here. Oh. I have no clue. Not this is a new rod. I'm letting it either way, so... Oh, this is... Oh, shit, man. The... Uh, anchor or unanchor? No, I, unanchor, unanchor, unanchor. This is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. This is... Oh, go down, go down, go down. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. No. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it! Yeah! Get on! Finally! Yes! Fuck, I've been waiting for that one! Oh! Thank you! Sirpa! Perkele! Sirpa! What a freaking fish, man! What did I tell you before? You know? This, this, one, is, this one is 115. What did I tell you before? I told you. We lost one there over six meters. We lost one over there at six meters. That was six meters. I don't think they're on top beyond, of beyond, the... Beyond, beyond, beyond. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, off. Fuck. Ah, oh, I would be so happy if this was the weather from the whole day. A slow, smooth wind, nice white snow. Yeah, it's really cool. No rain, it's less wet, and it's so mystical. Yeah, it is. Imagine now the fish comes that we are That waiting would be for. so nice. I love snow because I'm a winter child. Born in December. Do you really like the winter? Yeah. Say that again. I love winter. 
Also today? Yeah, also today. Almost the Christmas time. That's the only season in the year when, when everyone loves everyone. And the rest of the year everyone hates everyone. What the hell? What? Where is that Hulken from? I have no clue. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna be fishing since uh, you don't no, agree with me. No, it's not as big me. as I thought. But this has... This is strange. This has a lure in his mouth. This is so strange. Okay, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Good news. Good news, we caught a nice fish. Bad news. We don't have any more hulk. It got stuck when we were fighting your fish. And uh, okay, okay, okay. it's a goner. Uh, this is so strange. I have two lures now. This is the strange thing. I catch the pike, what's in his mouth? I don't know if, if I've been here or somebody else been here. Well, we didn't lose anything today. No, we didn't lose anything and today. And we haven't been here for a couple of months. Okay, here you have a holder. Yeah. 106 is there, yeah. Yeah. 106. 106 centimeters. We will not weigh this one because the, she doesn't weigh as big as the other one. But this is awesome. One more, no, please. We missed so many. One more. One more. We need one more. We'll get one more. Yeah. You see the fish in there? Okay, I can try. Right there. He's hunting. Okay, but stay on this one, so uh, I stay. Perfect. Come on, take it. Ay, 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 ay. Come on. It's, it's there. You see the, the black hole around it? It's the pike. The problem is really hard for me to see my bait. Yeah. It's yep. coming. It's coming. That's around 65, something like this. Small fish, but nice, it's pretty, yeah? Nice marking on this one. And it was so cool, you know, doesn't matter how big it is, it's so cool to see him. You see the bait going down, you see the fish reacting, and it's always exciting to see the fish coming up and follow, 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 and boom, take the bait. So it's cool. Now we need a bit bigger than that, but it's cool. It's a fish, it's nice. Okay, put it back. Whoa! <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah, fish! Yeah, double hook up! Yes! Yes! <laughs> double hook up! <laughs> what? So, this is so crazy, dude! Yep! This one's for the bucket! And it counts! Yep! Mine counts too! <laughs> double fish! Crazy. All right, let it go. Double release. Eén, twee, hard like it. Bye bye. Hey dude, watch this. I got a special trick. Oh, one more, then it's 30. Les brochets continuent de mordre comme des fous sur les leurs de l'équipe Neistroft. Cependant, le brochet que nous voyons habituellement entre les mains de Daniel Sander manque encore aujourd'hui. Today, I think we need a 12, 11 and a half, 12 kilo. So yeah, that's our game and thumbs up for Team Bullseye. Just long head shakes. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a ten plus. Yes, man! Ah! Oh! Yes! What the fuck? That's why we are causing the whole fucking day. Oh. 
I almost don't have a voice anymore. Oh, but but no. I told you we're gonna get one more here. I told you and fucking Lamelli with the mouse did it again, as always. Those hooks were set, Milf Hunter Jr. You can trust those hook sets. And look at this fat belly. This is a monster, man. Okay. Whoa. Oh boy, it's longer. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Comes by my side, my friend. That's a pike. That's a pike. Let's get the measurement. I have the tail. I have the head. What Co the fuck, Marcus? Close the eyes. Mark it's at zero. <laughs> zero? How long can we get it? It's 119. Must be kidding. 119. Really? 119. 119. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's your task. Hold it. <laughs> 12. 62. So then? That means? 11.57. Look at this fat monster, man. Oh, Look at this fat monster. What a beautiful fish. I still can't believe it's only 11, but it's a lot of air inside. Pendant trois jours, Marcus et Tim de l'équipe Bullseye ont cherché de gros poissons. Hier, ils étaient à seulement 400 grammes du point Big Fish, mais maintenant, ils ont le plus gros de toute la compétition. Then, eh? Uh, yeah, 25 minutes. 25 minutes to what? Left. In the tournament? Yes. All right. Then eh, faster, faster. Focus and concentration. We need one more big mama. We need one more big mama. Sometimes if you wish it and dream it, it'll come true. So come on. And the machine bike. Then eh, no machine bike. Then eh, machine this dream. <laughs> Fucking dream, machine. I know it's windy, Andy, but I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, let's go. 22 pike. Oh, stop making me laugh. Andy, we got 22 fish. I think we got a good chance to make the numbers today. I think 22 is good so far. Haven't reached our goal of 30, but we worked our butts off to get to this 22. I'm happy, but not satisfied yet. We need one more big fish. There comes a little snow pike. Ow. Snow pike. The result doesn't make me happy, but... I make you happy. Yeah. We are a little bit sorry that we couldn't show you guys some Good fishes. The last days were kind of slow, except the end from Matthias yesterday. So we were hoping for something else, but that's fishing. But it's not great. <sighs> Woo! Nice. Good fish. Number 31. I think that's the biggest one of today. Nice one. It's 88, I think. Yeah, 88. Nice one. Beautiful pike. I let it go. Nice fish. This does, I don't know. I don't care. This is an upgrade. This is a good fish. Take it. It's um, okay, it's okay. It's not the best fish, it's still okay. It's a 90 plus anchor, fish. Anchor here, anchor it's here. It's a 90 plus fish. <laughs> Come on. One more! Hurry up or we're not fishing anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or um, I'm fishing, I don't care. Okay. You, you do whatever you want. Uh, White yeah. walker again? White walker again. 
That color is insane, guys. White Walker, remember where, where you have heard it first. Okay, stop it. I know that you want to be, but you're not a crocodile, okay? Ah, no, 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 no. We have to do this quickly, man. Would you stop hugging it and like get on with it already? Are you ready? Yeah. There you go. Head over there. This is a decent fish, man. Yeah, this is a decent fish. Are you kidding me? I've got 94 here easily, 94 and a half. 94 centimeter, small upgrade. We still have time. Okay, we need to hurry that's, up. That's not a small upgrade though. That's okay. 12 centimeter upgrade. Yeah. Well done, I'll hug you later, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okie dokie. Last cast. Okay, my friend. Last one. Last cast of Fly vs. Jörg 15. Last one for the road. I'm going there. I'm going there. Okay. Switch place. Feel free. Feel free. Last cast. <laughs> Make it count, man. Yeah, I will. Cheers. Last Cheers. cast. That's it. Last cast into uh, Fly vs. Jerk 15. The final cast of Flight vs. Jerk season 15. Yeah! <laughs> Shit. Oh, we fucked up. I don't think I ever caught anything on the last cast. That only happens in the movies. Or? Okay, I caught the reef. Tous les leurs ont quitté l'eau et il est maintenant temps de résumer la saison. It was a tough day for a catch with care. I was a bit disappointed today because yeah. they were expecting the fish in some area and was totally empty there. Yeah. And when we want to fish deeper, we have no front motor, so it's a bit disaster. But it was a nice competition anyway. We had fun. We had good fun. First two days we had good action. Huh? Yeah, it was fun. Good action. But this day. We lost it the third day. That's it. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. From Catch with Care. See you next year. I'm a bit sad that it's over now because I really would love to have some more days. It was a pleasure to be part of it. I'm happy that we managed all those conditions. Give me a hug, man. Oh, you're Good nice time. Wet. Yeah, I know. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye, audience. Have a nice weekend. See you. See you soon. Keep on using. We really hope we could inspire you to go fly fishing because there are a few days where you can actually catch much more than the spin fisher. But yeah, we feel very, very sorry for all the guys who believed in us, especially the fly fisher. Sorry and thanks. We out. We hope you've enjoyed watching us on this roller coaster adventure that we've been through these last three days, starting in Poland, and Dutch. Upper Germany, Middle Germany, the places that we've just had a great time fishing. We caught a lot of pike. Yes. Me and Andy had a great time yes. together. It was an amazing experience for both of us. Andy, you want to do it again next year? Yes. And we hope to see you next year as well. Okay, <laughs> let's go. It was a blast, man. We had so much fun. It was amazing. We had so much fun today. My hands are uh, a little bleeding. Mine are not because he's doing all the work. <laughs> but hey, we had an excellent day. We hope you guys really enjoyed these episodes. We had a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. Have a nice day. Leave a like. And this was Team Neistroft out. L'équipe Neistroft et l'équipe Relax ont rivalisé tout au long du dernier jour pour le point du nombre. Danny et Andy ont passé une excellente journée de pêche en Allemagne et ont attrapé 25 poissons. Cependant, ce sont les gars du Pays-Bas qui gagnent la bataille en pêchant 31 brochets. 
our expectations was higher, but uh, it is how it is. We did what we did. Yeah, but uh, hey, super happy uh, to be in that great tournament and uh, to fish with you, my friend. Exactly, yeah. I can say the, the yeah. same. We had really great time. See you guys. See you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Marcus Flybus, the Turk. It's over. Yeah, it's history. Today was fun. Yeah. We really tried our best. The first day we got a 99. Yesterday yeah. we got a 10 plus. Today we get two meter and eleven point four five. That are crazy results. Actually, not bad. It was a pleasure to fishing with you together, again. Same to you, Tim. Was really a pleasure. Le point Big Fish a changé de main cinq fois aujourd'hui, mais à la fin, l'équipe Bullseye le sécurise enfin avec un brochet de 11,57 kg. As always. It has been a freaking pleasure. Of course, you've been fishing with me. <laughs> Humble as always. No, it has Bring been it. great. Bring it. We did Thank good. Thank you, brother. We did good. I'm super happy. We gave it really. our best. Yeah. No regrets this time. No bad decisions as I see it. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked it. We really did our best. En ce qui concerne le point du top 5, de nombreux brochets de plus d'un mètre ont été capturés aujourd'hui, mais seules les équipes Neistroft et Giga.nu parviennent à remplir leur papier. Daniel et Sander ont terminé avec 419 cm, mais les 487 cm de Bjorn et Jacob suffisent largement à sécuriser le point du top 5 pour le jour 3. Et ce point suffit juste à donner la victoire à l'équipe Giga.nu dans Flyvest Jerk 15. Bjorn et Jacob ont été l'équipe la plus constante ces derniers jours, fournissant des top 5 solides et des poissons d'un mètre et plus. Ils ont réussi à remporter 4 des 9 points disponibles cette année, ce qui les place en première place, un point devant l'équipe Neistroft. Thank you. Un grand merci à toutes les équipes qui ont participé, mais aussi à nos sponsors, et à vous aussi d'avoir regardé Flyvest Jerk, Rejoignez-nous à nouveau l'année prochaine pour Flyvest Jerk 16.